Hey guys, welcome back, a new episode of uh, Let's Talk Europe. Today, my special guest is Ollie, and he is from the UK. United Kingdom. Mm -hmm. So we won't have, uh, we won't be learning a new language, but we're gonna learn a few things about England, hopefully. I'm excited, let's do it. Let's go. England. What about England socialist? Is England socialist? In I wouldn't say England is socialist. I would say it is. It's a. It's a little more to the left than in America. It's more more socialist than America. Okay, got it. Is England a democracy? Yes, it is. It, it is a democracy, though. But though the rules can be quite uh, strict at times. Because the next. Google Autocomplete is, is England a monarchy? So what is it now? I mean, I wouldn't necessarily call it a monarchy. We still but have... But you do have a queen. We still have, we still have the queen. But and the I, royal family. We still have the queen and the royal With family. With one member less. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> or is it, is it two now, I guess? Do they go together? Or is oh. she ever in it? I don't know. I've don't never know. been royal, so... So it, it just feels... Um, I, think, I think the country can be sort of confused at times yeah. as who is in the power... So I think the democracy politically is in charge of the country. The monarch is just symbolic, probably. It's mostly symbolic, but they, yeah. s they still have the power. It's whether they actually really, they don't really use it. Right. Is England part of Europe? Politically, <laughs> not any now, longer soon. Yeah. We, um, yep. Yeah, Brexit That's happened. There's a deadline. I really don't know how that's going to go, but... Oh, it's, uh, it's coming. Yeah. Yeah. Since the last election. I know. Yeah. It's crazy. Now we're going to talk about the population of the UK, right? Okay. Number one, British people drink a lot of tea. True. We do drink a lot of tea. Like uh, English breakfast, Earl Grey. It's been, it's been a thing since I was a little kid. British, we are all friends with the Queen. I, I mean, it's, it's, it's hard not to like the queer, the way she carries herself. Because like, she's old, is that what you mean? She's old and she's sweet. We've never seen sunshine. Okay, that, that is just a lie. It's not. It's I've been to London a couple of times and it's always rainy and yeah. cloudy. Well, global warming has brought the sun back in the summer, at least. Like four days. It could be. And the thing four is... Four days of summer. The thing is, when it's hot in the UK, it is really, you really feel it because we are not at all, we are not at all ready. To, <laughs> like, not prepared. There's no air conditioning. We are I not see. prepared in any way. <laughs> we can't handle said sunshine. 100% true. We will complain when it's raining. We'll complain when it's hot. Oh, and they're we, so depressed, the Brits. We're, we're, we're a little cynical. I, I see. That. The Brits watch a lot of TV. There oh, it is. God. We do watch we do watch TV and we you know like during an ad break we'll like we'll mm. turn on the kettle, like in England they actually have to like they have to like increase the amount of like electricity to homes during certain times in the evening because everyone's turning on the kettle at the same time. Oh wow, that's crazy. Yeah. Okay, that's really interesting. I read yeah I read I read that when I was at school. That's really interesting. English people and speak rather posh. Well, do I? Do I sound posh to you? You sound more cockney. Yeah. Well, there we go. But you're like... We, we don't all sound like the Queen. No, probably not. No. Next fact. English. We're mad about football. Which uh, is soccer in this occasion. We're American. Always be I mean, football. I'm not, but... It should always be it's football. It's soccer. Football. In, in Europe... For, we're in the United States here. We're in Los Angeles. And we say soccer. But football became... Football beca was football before American football. Doesn't matter. Yeah. We're right. Absolutely true. Like... Across the UK, we're huge like, football fans. I'm a Man City fan myself. Okay. And love a good drink. Yes, it's very true. Yeah, it's just a big, it's a big part of our culture. Yeah. Like going to the pubs, something I miss all the time is doing pub crawls, where you start out, you start out the night in one pub, oh, and man. then it's like you get a couple drinks down you, you move to another, then you move to another, mm. another maybe no a good. club. No it's, good. No it's, good. It's a good Not night. Not healthy, guys. It's a good night. Be responsible. Definitely be responsible. Brits, we're super polite. Are you? I think it's, it's just the, that posh language that makes it sound polite. I think. I it, don't think they are. I think it's in our general language. We are polite, whether or not we 
specifically mean it is something yeah. else. Yeah, that's we, a good we point. Will say, we will say sorry. It will excuse sound polite. Me, yeah. But we'll, like, we'll probably be saying something under a... <laughs> 100%. What? We eat terrible food. We don't. We, we do Come not. on, you don't have a big food culture, do you? We, we don't, but it's so international at this point. I mean, like every Friday night we go for like an Indian curry. Indian. Like fish and chips, is it bad? We have pies, shepherd's pie, <laughs> bangers nice. and mash. I have no idea what that is. That's just that's that's a, a banger. Bangers is like a sausage. There are there are worse food cultures than ours. You guys live in castles and cottages. I wish. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, Who doesn't? Yeah. <laughs> right. I I love I love my house in England. It's actually got a name as well. It's called Pinecroft. Which I always think is so cool. Pinecraft. Brits are emotionally stun- stunted. stunted. It it, it kind of hits me right there. That's a that's a little true. I think we so. have a tr- we ha- we have trouble saying how we really feel. Yeah. At times, oh, it's just not it's just not done. I think it's almost like not polite to show your feelings. Do you think it has to do with the the fact the influence of the royal family as a royal or I don't know you were not showing your emotions I guess. Possibly, I, I mean. Don't know. Im- it just make I don't know. It it just comes. I think it just it might come from that. It's sort of the British traditions. Yeah. Well, guys, that's it for our uh, Let's Talk Europe. Today's guest, Ollie from England, uh, lives in LA too, right? Yep. Um, Ollie, before we finish, can we go home and leave this with a very British quote or sentence or something super British that you have? Yeah. Well, one of my favorite sayings is. Um, when you've like when you made a decision that you're not quite sure of, but it's like you just want to you just have to go all the way with it. You say in for a penny, in for a pound. Nice, I like it. I love that one. Works good for artists. Definitely, yeah. exactly. So guys, remember to subscribe and uh, hit that little bell because you're gonna get notified whenever I upload new videos. And if you have questions about me or England, Google it or comment and uh, we might have ollie back have fun guys see you soon thank you ollie thank you bye bye